Thank you to the man who helped everybody was called to fire. Huh? <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. My wife's on the floor cutting the dogs. Yep. She just she cut so much hair off one dog, we made another one. Say hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. <laughs> She's a comedian. All right, let me give some shout outs here on Sensational Saturday. Karina's in. Karina, you're first. Karina was asking, when are you, are you when are you doing your live? When are you doing your live? Boom, she beat everybody. Joseph Lance, how you doing? Glad you could make it. From Medicine Hata Hatab, Canada. Well. Long time visionary bum pastor. Good for you. Thomas Bridgeforce in the house. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we have Tom McConley's here from McConaughey. Thank you for helping me ha out. What did I say, McConaughey? McConaughey. Oh, it's easy. Even I can figure that out. Thanks, Don. Ohio. Debbie Morgan Goebbels in the house. Hello, Debbie. Joseph Castigari, welcome. Uh, Kashio Pegu, Stephanie on passive. There she is. Lystra is in the house. Happy Saturday. Lystra says hi, Dawn. Judy Turner Miller, what's up? Hi to the unicorn. Ruth Pace, uh, Tanya Cruz is in the house from Alberta, <clears throat> Canada. We got more people from Canada than anywhere, I think. Uh, Sampaji Kavodian. Whoa, I'm, I don't know if I said it wrong or not, but it sounds good. Marilyn Zeppelin. Harry Cutty Chupar. Pam Turner's in the house. John, the extraordinary singer, actor, Marola. QA. Police. <laughs> Mary Tinda. Tenda. Trevor Bernard's in the house. Nigel Peters here. Rupa Paul's in the house. We're cooking with grease. Jazu Ranu Yadav. Angel Dempa. Dem Demda. Demda. Carl Chapman's in the house. Robert. Tantulo's in the house. The one and only conversation with who? Say it. Say it. Willow is in the house. Uh, we're cooking. 84 people for Saturday. Not bad. Dana's energy's here. I'm glad the energy's here. I could use it. Randy Leonard, Jane Seymour. Welcome, welcome. Bonnie Ditchville Bringer. Ditchville Bringer. I said it fast. I don't know if I'm right. Susan Hodges, hello. Suzanne Bop is in the house. Merrick Schwerzak. I hope. Uh, we're still going down. We're going down. We're going down. Viviana, I'm passive. Hello, Viviana. Vicki Barker, Michael Claus, George Wheeler, Robert Rojas, Patty Carpenter. Uh-oh, it dropped down, so I got to go to the bottom. 
Sol Rupa, Tio Benedis. Big John White keeping it high. And tight. Big John White. Yeah. You know what's up. Sean Cyrus. Gemma's here. Uh, we got the whole package now. We got Gemma and Lystra. Yes, we do. We're all waiting for your next slide. David Switzer's in the house. Uh, Rupan Hussan is here. Afin Ofam. Afin Ofam. Afin Ofam. Yeah. You know, I messed that up. Tess Joseph. Craig Hill. Kevin, the mountain man, Rutledge from, say it, Illinois. That's where he's from. <clears throat> Sean, my brother from another mother, Cyrus, is here. Abami Hawaii is here. Greg Hill's here. Gene Oliva's in the house. Hello, Gene. Are we cooking? Holly Bugs. <laughs> Hello, Holly Bugs. Barbara Garrison. Welcome. Rapan Hussein. Sunny Muna. Welcome, 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 welcome. You hear that humming noise? The dogs are getting cut. The dogs are getting high and tight right now. <sighs> what a mess. Pit Models here. Steve Callahan. I think I named both, most of you. Remember, subscribe and ring the bell if you want to get a notification when there's a new video. We've been doing a lot of videos lately. I'm going to be doing some more. We're going to start gearing up to grabbing some resellers, right? I know they can't sign up yet, but it doesn't stop the swing. Lois White's here. Yuri Peters. Hello, Yuri. Ahmad Hodge, Wasim Zikar, welcome, P.S. Therese, Zephyr Stegman, 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 Jarmo's in the house, I hope I said everybody, anyway, let me go to the bottom, Wendell White, Caramonsies. Yeah, we're good. Sensational Saturday. I just got off a webinar with the OTEC pros. It's very good. Talking about value is a big deal to me because I really learned about value when on passing was created as it's being created. Because I know in my whole life online, even offline, they threw the word value around so much it meant nothing. Because most of the time they throw it on something that wasn't that great of a value. So it makes it less appealing. I don't know how many products or apps that I got. And they said, this is the best value. Get it. You pay whatever it is. You get in. And there's an upsell. By the way, you have the ruby level. You want diamond. You got to pay another $39.95. And that'll give you everything you could want. I've even seen it go up again. You buy the diamond like an idiot. Then it says, you want seller's rights? You want the whole package? It's only $39.95 more. Yeah. But that goes with every product online. Offline. I, I Years ago, I got, when ClickFunnel first came out, I got ClickFunnel. So drag and drop. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. Part of it was that way, but if you really wanted to get a nice website, a nice funnel, unless you knew coding, I learned a little bit later, but I didn't know it then. Next thing you know, you got this page. It's not quite done. And they're kind of like, if you need help, for X amount of money, we'll give you a whole day. Somebody will help you do once again, the value that I thought I got was drag and drop, I can make a funnel. 
Uh, I mean, I just don't get it. With Unpassive, <clears throat> you want to get a product from Unpassive, you're not going to be looking to say, is this the full deal? You're going to go, oh, my God, I can't believe I got this much for that little. Wouldn't that be great for the first time? You share something with somebody, free version. Hey, check this out. What's it cost? Nothing. Nothing to check it out. Check it out. They check it out and they go, oh, my gosh, this is amazing. That's what we have with Unpassive. What a breath of fresh air. Huh? Huh? Say it. You're darn right. Jamel James is in the house. Aaron Eaton is here. If, if you want me to shout out your name, you got to say something so I can see you. And then give me your state or country, and I'll do that too. Jerry Nix is in the house. Hollybugs. Anyway, think about that. Value is so powerful. I want everybody to stay in touch because we know what's going to happen. Things are happening fast. Orlando Toft is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Stephanie on Passive is here. Hey, Marty, we love you. I love you too, and thank you. I need all the love I can get. David Rodowski is here. Lisa Cateller, welcome. Springfield, Massachusetts. Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri, I'm sorry. Uh, Robert's down the shore. He's my neighbor. Don't even know it. Doug Barber's in the house. Chris Johnson, Marty, we are going fishing, bringing a lunchbox. I don't need a lunchbox. I'm going to catch fish. I'm just kidding. No, you're right. I can't wait. Anyway, uh, Missouri, I got it. Yeah, I realized after I said it. I'm a blockhead. All right, Lisa, I remember that. I got my new living room. Tony Monk's in the house. Tony, great job on the webinar. Fantastic job on the webinar. Anyway, um, at 2 o'clock, Milo's doing a tribute to people that have passed away, founders that have passed away. So if you're if you'd like to do that, you should go. Two o'clock to four, I think. Yeah, two to four. Tanya Henner's here. Anyway, I'm really happy with what's going on. Like like we all know, next 60 days, less than 60 now. Packages are gonna start coming out, they're gonna start selling them to the consumer. We're going to start seeing people's face. We're going to start hearing about Unpassive from outside in. Powerful stuff. And we're all going to see, we're all going to live what it's like to be in the next biggest tech giant in the history of mankind that actually delivers value with heart. Everybody says, oh, what about the competition? What competition? What company is out there right now that is based on value and heart? Name one. Besides on passive. You get some good value, but is it great? We're going to find out. We're going to find out how good some of the value is when on passive comes out and gives a comparison. This is our product. This is yours. You be the judge. How are people going to say no? Especially with the way the economy's going, they they need value. They don't want. They don't just have. They don't just want it. They need it. Everybody gets to need to get the most for their buck. And could you imagine being able to sign in one sign in and do all your business for the whole day, no matter what it is, from shopping to Building to learning to, I mean, come on, everything. Organizing your business all under one roof. I don't know about you, but that's crazy cool. That's value with a capital V, okay? So we got value. We've got technology. We've got unlimited. We've got AI. We've got 
a CEO that's a servant to everyone. Come on, come on. I don't know about you, but man, I'm blown away. Every day. I thought I was dreaming about on passive. You believe that? And it wasn't like money and all that. It was just about a lot of stuff going on. It was pretty, it was a great feeling. Just a lot was going on. And you, the feeling was good. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. But I want everybody to remember, this is what, this is what people focus on. Whether they like it, they say it, they agree, they don't agree. Anytime somebody buys something, they go by value. What am I getting? How easy is it to use? You know how many people are turned off? Or I'll give you one. They go in and they do a free trial. While they're in there messing with it, they go, crap. I don't understand how this works. I want a refund. On um, passive, it's the highest technology Design, design the most simplest way to use it. Kindergarten can use it. Einstein will understand it. Boom, baby. You cover those two, you cover that spectrum of people that respect what's there to the people that go, well, this is so easy to use. Because I want to tell you, one of the biggest technology movements in the world, in the world, is taking something super tech, super technical, super um, super integrated with like AI, with uh, technology, with machine learning, and then spin that around and make it user friendly for the average person. Because most of us are average. Nothing wrong with average. Some of you average people are above average people. You think you're average, but you're above average. If you got non passive and you took that, you got that belief and you hooked on, you're a visionary. Because most people aren't. If they can't taste it, eat it, wear it, whatever, it ain't real. That's a sad existence. I believe like us, if you can think it, it can happen. If you believe it, it'll happen. Because I know this for a fact at 62 years old. If you believe you can, you will. If you believe you can't, you won't. That's pretty damn guaranteed. You want a guarantee? Put in your mind, I can't, and you won't. Do it. Most of us have done it. You know what we do? We do the first 10 years of our life, 20 years. I want to be, I want to do. And very quickly in our 20s and 30s, it goes, well, I'm not going to be able to do that. Let me look at something else. And then about 10 years go by and you go, guess I just have to be satisfied with what happens. Then we live another 20 years and we die. Well, the passive, that's not necessary. I get to go back to that 25-year-old guy who thought he knew everything and knew nothing, dig to that closet, take all the dust and dirt and grime that's laid on top of my dreams and hopes of things I'd like to do and take them out, dust it off, and open it up and go, I can do that now. That goes for everybody here. Throw away the survival book. How can I survive until I'm 80? How can I help my family, hopefully? Well, I can't even help myself. Spend 40 years working. 10, 15 years retired sitting on a porch, can't do anything, can't afford anything, because now you're making 20% less than you did when you started. 40%, 60%. With well, passive, it gives you that get out of jail free card. Get out of your typical life card. 
Live the life of your dreams card. You don't have to be a blockhead to do it. You could be you. You could just be you. Oh, I always wanted to do my wife said, I always wanted to go on a balloon, a balloon ride. Not me. She's going to get to do that. I believe that. And I'm going to get to watch her go up because I'm not going. Go on a cruise. I want to go on a big cruise. I want to go on a big, big one. I wouldn't mind if it was called on passing, but let's not push it yet. Linda Longmire, hello. Glad you could make it. Yep, Tony, that's what we got to do, a cruise with everybody. I figure if I invite enough people to my living room, I'd have to do it weekly. It's going to take a while to get through all my friends. Don't worry, I'll have a place for you to stay, too. Yeah, we're going to do it all. We're going to do it up. And a pool. I was going to say I'll have red cook for us if I can't afford red. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding. LeBron Johnson, how you doing, buddy? Glad you could make it. Donald Grant. But seriously, this is fun for me. This is... I look at my family struggling. I look at my... I got my grandchildren, their mother. Oh, God. I'd do whatever it takes to get her out of her her life, but, oh, well, in the meantime, I want to do the best for my grandchildren and my other children, even her. I mean, there's still hope. She's alive, right? There's still hope. Anyway, um, all my kids, no fight, no nothing. They're in it. They're all founders. And I didn't just give them a position. I explained to him what it's about. Hey, Shorty, come here and say hi. Oh, uh, never mind. He's not being nice. Sometimes he's not nice. <clears throat> His big sister is, though. He's being shy today. Uh, anyway... People said hi to Shorty, Mom. Roy Davies, what's up? 162 people. That's crazy for Saturday. Anyway, in about a half hour, Milo's coming on. Tribute to people that passed away. Daryl Cook. Yep, call me Papa Marty. You're right, Daryl. Look at the people I met. I would have never met Daryl. Although, I've known Dan for 10 years. But because I'm on passive... Dan said, I know people that love this. And it was Daryl. Look what Daryl's done. He's an educator. He sees the value. And you know what's funny? When I say I see the value, I see the value of the percentage I know. And if I can see the value of just a percentage I know, what is it really? Off the chart. Off the hook. Stratosphere. Jupiter area. And that's going to be so much fun. When people are coming online looking for you, where is Carl Chapman? I want to get in that business. Where's Big John White? This guy that's always keeping it high and tight. I want to get in that business with him. I'm not joking. That's all going to happen. It's all going to happen. The Unsung Heroes. That's the other one. Thank God. Ask is more interested in your heart and what you've done for others than the size of your team. And I feel the same way. And I have a good-sized team. Very good-sized team. But it's not fair to judge by that. My my opinion, because I'm passive, was built for people that don't know how to market. 
Why would we judge people by the size of their team or how good they are? It's not right. Look at the people that automatically help without being asked and expect nothing in return. Barilla. Nobody told him to go take care of the chat. Make sure everybody's acting nice. They're not saying bad thing. Nobody told him to do it. He did it. All the support that you ladies and men give here. Talking to each other, encouraging each other, doing little videos. And everybody goes, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how let let go of what you don't know how to do or what you don't want to do. That's an easy one. Then that decision's done. Go after something you want to do or you want to help. Because it's 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 a it's a big platform at the top. There's plenty of room for everybody. But I can't wait to be able to invite you to my room, my house. My wife show you all the crafts she did. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Then if I give her a room, she might lock herself in and I'll never see her again. Right, Dawn? Yep. Told you. No, I'll be in the pool. Some. Oh, she'll go in the pool some, she said. Quite a yeah, like Oak Connect. You're right, Gray Hill. Oak Connect. Are you kidding? And Oak Connect, you're going to be able to stream to Facebook and YouTube. Can you say vacuum? Who Sucking people in like a rototiller. Well, that sounds disgusting, but you know what I mean. Bridget's in the house. Start using your imagination. What are we going to do? What can we do? How do we guide people? How do we point people in the right direction? Because the business is going to do everything for you. Do you have to do it? No. So when you hear me talk, don't get all, all crazy and start writing me, Marty, I thought it was done for you. It's done for you. But I guarantee the power of the growth of this company will be from word of mouth. Way stronger than we think. And I'll tell you why. It's a secret. Don't tell anybody else. Value is one of them. Heart is another one. When they see the value that they got, you can't shut up a man or a woman. I don't care who you are. If you get the value far exceeds what you thought, what your expectations were, as far as products, you get no connect and you start messing around with it. You look at the price, you look at the value, you look at the technology. You're going to be on the phone. You're going to be sending smoke signals. You're going to be telling people. And you'll do it as long as you're not labeled a marketer or a, a business builder. That's why I never call somebody that. Let them share with people what they want to share. When they're done, they'll have an empire on top of their empire on top of their empire. And they'll say, how'd you get that? The company did it. Not knowing they spread the news to thousands of people. Who spread it to 10,000 people? Who spread it to 100,000 people? That's how this works. Was everybody in Facebook brought in by the CEO? No, oh, I think he brought in seven. It was this. Something new, something different. But it wasn't designed. It was an accident. It was an accident. How do we pick up ch chicks in our college? What happens when you design it, engineered from the conception of value, love for mankind, life-changing AI, technology to the two years ahead, three years ahead? What does that equal? You know what it equals. I'm not even going to say it. You know what it equals. You're right. Nobody can be a founder. 
but there's going to be millions. There's going to be billions, I believe, customers. And there's going to be hundreds of thousands of resellers. My opinion. Why? Why wouldn't there be? What would be stopping somebody from being a reseller? Or a customer? What Name one thing. Because it's too much? Nope. Because the technology is not the best in the world? Nope. Because it's got not got great value? Nope. So why? what's going to stop them? Nothing. They're coming. Even the ones that badmouth the company for the last three years, they're coming. Now, they're not going to go out on a bullhorn and say, hey, I was a blockhead for four years. I changed my mind. I'm in no connect. And this is freaking unbelievable. That, that probably won't happen. They're going to have trouble talking anyway because they got so much crow in their mouth. Hard to talk with all that crow in your mouth. But I don't even care. They don't even know what they're talking about. I, they don't mean anything. But anyway, keep in mind, you might know 1% of what we know, right? We might know 1% of everything. And that 1% keeps you up at night. What is the other 99% going to do? What is it going to do? Crow's nasty, Robert said. You're right, Robert. I've eaten it a few times. Oh, yeah. I've had foot and mouth disease. I've had crow galore. Yeah. Thank you, Tony Monk. <clears throat> Tony, it's only about, you know what it's about, man. You, this is my life. Besides my family, I love my family. I don't do anything else. I'm passive my family, I'm passive my family, my family, I'm passive. Now they're they're kind of kind of intertwining now. I met you, Tony. I met Chris Johnson, my little brother. I met Lister, I met Joseph, I met Gene, I met Linda Chapetta, I met, I met every big John White. I haven't met any of you in person. Well, I'm getting healthier every day. I'm coming. And I'm going to meet you somewhere. And even until then, when we get that living room, we're going to have the funniest shaped house on the planet. There'll be little boxes for bedrooms. This big ass living room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, by the way, I, I'm sorry. I'm just babbling. It's just... Just talk Saturday, okay? I don't have anything specific. But I expect, just so you know, I expect big stuff. Big news or more news coming out this week. I expect it. Starting Sunday night right up till next Saturday. And let's keep your ears peeled. That's why I want to say it again. Ring my bell. I love my bell ringed, rung, ringed. Uh, sounds like that. Anyway, ring my bell. So if I do any videos, you'll know right away. John did another write-up for a, a video clip. Very good. I'm going to start focusing with Dan and Mike on, what do you call it? Harvesting. We're going to start a harvest. We're going to start harvesting resellers. Going to start harvesting resellers. Victor Gumbalade. He is the motivational speaker. He can speak. The man can speak. Anyway, I want to tell everybody, love you. Milo in about 10 minutes. I don't know if he wants to live stream. He might. I don't know how long I can stay, but um, 
once again. Love you all. Thanks for spending the time here. Sorry I didn't add a lot of value. I didn't have a lot to say. But I want to be here because I promised I would. It does as much good for me as it does for you. I hope it does for you. Uh, once again, OTEC Pros, great job last night, today. Knocked it out of the park. For tech guys, usually you're boring, but you guys became very good speakers. So I, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm, a proud, uh, I'm a proud rooster, I can tell you. Lynn, you're killing it. She's everywhere, helps everybody. Uh, <clears throat> Julie, another one. Julie, Julie, when if she didn't help me out, I'd have been lost. Went to thousands, and uh, you don't even want to know. <clears throat> she organized it, made it look good. <clears throat> all right, here, I'm going to ask one question. I'm going to ask you a question, all right? And I want the first, first thing that comes to mind. First thing you're going to do Now, how do I want to say this? When you hit a milestone, whether it's paying off debt, paying off your house, buying a new car, whatever it is you're looking for, the first milestone in your life, when you hit that, what do you think the first thing you're going to do? That's what I want to know. When you get to the first milestone in your mind that you'd like, whether it's pay off debt or whatever, what is the first thing you're going to do when that happens? Do you have any idea? Travel. Cool. Come on, everybody. Give a helping hand. Cool. Thank my sponsor. Thank God. Thank God. Help others. Say thanks. Buy a new truck. I want to meet you all. Me too. What I want to do during that time and after that time is try to get resellers in to let them know it's not too late for them either. There'll be resellers that make multi-millions of dollars and I'm passing. No doubt. Just keep in mind, there'll be people, resellers that make multi-millions multi of dollars. And I got to go where I'm going to push Milo off. I don't want to do that. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Will I be on at noon? Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow at noon. I should be. I'll see you all. And God bless. I had over 160 people. Not a bad day. Thank you very much. I mean that. Slap me a boom and a unicorn, and, you'll, and the unicorn will talk to you tomorrow. If he doesn't see himself on here... He's on un, he's unruly. There we go. There you go. See unicorn? He won't come on camera with me. He said it's not big enough for the two of us. Anyway, I'll see y'all. And God bless. Bye.